Hi students, this is Professor Arun Giradi, BLE College, Jamkandi. Today I would like to explain financial management problems in brief of all units. First we go through the uh, NPV problem that is net present value. So NPV is, can be explained as total present value of cash inflow minus total present value of cash outflow. First we want to know how to find out the cash outflow. Cash outflow is given in the problem as a initial investment or cost of the project. The only one thing is we have to find out the uh, cash inflow. So that cash inflow can be calculated by using discounting factor with cash inflow. Under the problem or the discounting factors with cash inflow. So we have to multiply the total cash inflow. So the NPV formula is applied to the total present value of cash inflow minus total present value of cash outflow. How do you get NPV? That is plus or minus. So what is the problem? This is the project. For example, project X and Y. So we have to project the NPV. If you have the highest NPV, that is suggested for investment. So simple thing. Cash inflow can be done, cash outflow minus. So cash outflow is problem already. Initial investment is the cost of the project. So now can be done, cash inflow is done. So cash inflow can be done, discounting factor is done. For example, 10% or 12% cost of capital is done. So the percentage is done, each year cash inflow is done. Now, in one of the multiply model, how are the inflow shifted? So, this is NPV. Next, we go through the capitalization. This is very important chapter. So, I will concentrate only on problem portion now. So, in capitalization, first step is we have to find out the net assets. So, net assets can be calculated as two way. First method is total assets minus outsiders liability on the credit. So, total asset was added in the course because one is current assets and one is non-current assets. One is added. One is outsider's liability. Usually, creditors, bills payable. So, you will have to do that. So, now, minus. And the inone formula is capital, share capital, plus reserve, plus profit and loss account. That is surplus. So, you will have to do that. Now, you will have to do net asset. One is total asset minus outside liability. One is capital plus reserve plus profit. So next step is we have to find out the book value per share. So that is very important. Book value per share is equal to net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. So first step net asset considered. So our net asset is divided by number of equity shares. So, how again is the book value per share? Next, we have to do capitalized value of earning. This is the standard standard capitalization. So, capitalized value of earning is the expected earning. So, expected earning divided by normal rate of return. So, expected earning divided by normal rate of return into 100. What is the end of the capitalized value of earning? So last step in quantity book is real value. So real value per share is equal to capitalized value of earning divided by number of equity shares. So how again is it? Real value per share. So book value and real value is compared. Suppose if book value is more than real value, the status of the company is over capitalized. If book value is less than the real value, the status of company is under capitalized. If both book value and real value is same, that is fair capitalization. So now, correct. So, here are four steps of the formula. Net asset, that is total asset minus outside liability or else capital plus reserve plus profit. Second, book value, net asset divided by number of equity shares. Number three, capitalized value of earning is equal to expected earning divided by normal rate of return into 100. And last one is Real value, capitalized value of earning divided by number of equity shares. Next come to third unit that is capital structure. In that capital structure, first we want to know the 
EPS earning per share where there are more than two to three plans are given in that in continue back on the existing plan and that you know the proposed plan something other thought so here capital quarter one the capital existing capital you know the energy three new capital so now really combination model combination under equity or both preference or both debenture so I'm more combination Martin only bits record so only proposed plan but you are first EPS to be got a got first in top of the corner EBA to talk earning before interest and tax of the kingdom is a in Carita and the operating profit and Carita so EBA to first of all so EBA to well got in and a minus model kind of interest minus model this is very important interest yari could TV and don't follow okay interest is given to debenture holders so a plan so I got not back now debenture earlier that the early mantra in one of the interest and a minus model so EBA to less interest so EBIT less interest money like EBT worth it earning before tax so EBT very big plan size so EBT was a tax rate and a minus model tax rate could have a problem nearly 40 percent 50 percent so EBT was a tax rate and a minus model so EBT was a tax rate minus monthly EAT worth it earning after tax so earning after tax under here he earning after tax many you bring right sir one do preference share order in on do equity share order first year again on a quarter way corner preference share order so earning after tax or the first year again dividend on a quarter way preference share order so other car less model EAT less preferential dividend next but I'll do earning available to equity share orders so earning available to equity share so then the last in the degree number of equity share though where there is a formula EPS EPS formula is equal to earnings available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so plans very big plan one two three suppose you go for example plan one two three around the corner five lakh is to be collected first plan five lakh by equity at the top to court so plan on again very quickly all five lakh equity and three plan to suppose two lakh debenture three lakh equity thunder hang very quickly plan to two lakh equity plus three lakh debenture so plan three will have two lakh equity one lakh debenture one two lakh preference it under so mix money very good equity preference and debenture so you concentrate in one of the corner interest area quarter I will preference your dividend area quarter on the Bahala okay so I will revise within one minute EBIT less interest EBT less tax EAT less preferential dividend earnings number of equity shares so EPS is equal to earnings divided by number of equity share in that chapter again one question is there that is point of indifference and Karita so point of indifference Bala Mukhya Vadanta problem with the point of indifference and right it is a EBIT level where EPS is constant irrespective of debt equity mix and the EPS constant in other but in changes are three debt and the equity mix change of the debenture and the equity from an ANA cut over three चेंज आ कोतो कोत, but आ चेंज आदर कुड़ा EPS नली आवधे बदलाव ने आ गए ना, so इधर formula ये नोंदर, bracket x minus i1 into bracket 1 minus t minus pd divided by s1 is equal to x minus i2 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by s2, where x indicate point of indifference, अनका निरे बकनो, x means point of indifference, i1 means interest under plan number one i one means interest under plan number one it is always zero why it is zero plan one is always given on equity diventure rangila usually so on i one zero to you know but interest quota to over kagatel so i one is interest under plan number one t is equal to tax rate t and rate tax rate quota pd and the preferential dividend and kaito pd means preferential dividend yes one means what equity capital in plan number one equity capital in plan number one yes two means equity capital in plan number two so e problem really simple mathematics use model like cross multiplication model by cancelling zeros on both sides like that you will get the point of independence so x minus i1 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by s1 is equal to x minus i2 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by s2 
x point of indifference i1 interest in plan 1 t tax rate pd preferential dividend s1 equity capital in plan 1 s2 equity capital in plan 2 next part is uh, leverage part okay so leverage bidso kinta porvadalli format prakara thogbeku particular rupees first sales thogbeku sales idu yad rithi kottirtara ondu direct amount kottirbodu illa andre yen kottirbodri units into selling price anta karithanu so sales is taken at unit into selling price so mark madbeku sales sales hoga sales less variable cost madbeku sales less variable cost avagen sigutre contribution sales less variable cost is equal to contribution contribution minus fixed cost is equal to ebit contribution minus fixed cost is equal to ebit ebit minus minus interest is equal to ebt earning before tax so ebt minus tax is equal to eat earning after tax so eat minus preferential dividend is equal to earning available to equity shareholder then number of equity shares then eps is equal to earning divided by number of equity share but leverage ge ebt tanka idra sak namage yakandre mur leverage bartava one edu financial leverage second one operating leverage and third one composite leverage athwa combined leverage anta karidru so first one financial leverage is equal to what is the formula ebit divided by ebt anta karidru so ebit divided by ebt thogbeku ebit bidisirthiri divided by ebt maadbeku illi bandanta uttarakke times anta barebeku answer for example uh, 6 divided by 2 banta thekor so 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 so 3 times so answer should be written in terms of times so yale do operating leverage contribution divided by ebit anta karithivu so contribution divided by ebit thogbeku next barodu uh, combined leverage combined leverage is equal to operating leverage into financial leverage athwa contribution divided by ebt anta karithu contribution divided by ebt so financial leverage ebt divided by ebt operating leverage contribution divided by ebt combined leverage operating leverage into financial leverage or else contribution divided by ebt so this is the third chapter now we go through fourth unit in that first we have to calculate cost of debenture kd anta karithu cost of debenture kd is equal to i divided by p athwa np anta karithu i divided by np into bracket 1 minus t what is i i means interest why because debenture mele nam en kodtivi interest so i means interest np means net proceeds idu bahala mukhya idne kandidibeku nam np means net proceeds net proceeds specify there are some conditions uh, direct face value kotta tartikor face value itandre adne as it is told onon sala premium kodabodu discount kodabodu flotation cost kodabodu so avaga rule apply madbeku suppose premium kottidru andre face value plus premium madbeku suppose discount kottidru andre face value minus discount madbeku suppose flotation cost kottidru andre face value minus flotation cost so i will tell a small formula here face value plus premium minus discount minus flotation cost ostu irangilla omme yavadaru ond irutade so i divided by np into 1 minus t t means tax rate np means net proceeds so ali cost of debenture sikkit nim next barodu cost of preference share kp anta karithnu so kp is equal to r divided by p anta karithnu r divided by p athwa ino one formula d divided by np eradu helthe nanu r divided by p anna rate of dividend r means rate of dividend p means net proceeds or same issue price anna so p means net proceeds ino one formula prakara d divided by np d anna dividend amount np means uh, net proceeds amount ondu rate prakara bidisabodu illa andre amount prakara bidisabodu rate prakara andre for example 8% percent tettikore 8 divided by 100 to so ondu rate prakara bidisbeku illa andre amount prakara bidisbeku next third barodu ke anta karithu cost of equity shares cost of equity shares i is equal to uh, cost of uh, equity shares 